Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. Let's get back in the mood of worship and thank God. Put on your work clothes. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Just tell him thanks. You might not know what you're thanking him for, but just tell him thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Before you sit, you just get your Bibles in hand. To the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Revelation, chapter 22. I'm reading from verse 12. I want to say how happy I am to be with Bishop and Lady Williams and the Abiza family and all you wonderful saints of God and all my friends from Church of Jesus Christ that are here and all my friends all over Canada. It's just a wonderful feeling to be here. I bring you greetings from my dear wife and my kids and our church family. God is good. And it reads thus, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man According his work should be, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. There's a blessing to do. That they might have, everybody said, the right, right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers, poor mongers and murderers, idolaters, and whosoever love it and make it a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto these things. In the churches, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bright say, Come. And let him that hear it say, Come. And let him that is a thirst, everybody say, Come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life. Freely. For I testify to every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall have, let these things God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the word of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book yes, sir. he will testify these things said surely I come quickly amen even so come Lord Jesus the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all everybody shout amen come to give my benediction. Uh, that's right. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm preaching. Amen. Amen. Have you seen it? <laughs> this is funny. I'm preaching. Amen. Don't finish. Over. Amen. What an awesome time. 
we have been having in the presence of the Lord. Yes. And how God has moved mightily in the life of his people. Not every time you can judge the success of a meeting by how many people got filled or how many people got saved. Because God is always calling. People just don't want to come. Let me say that again. The master is always calling. But people are stiff naked and they don't want to come. My duty is to tell you. Your duty is to come. If you don't want to come, the preacher can't help you. And not even God can help you. I wish I had some help up in here. I said the preacher can't help you. And not even God can help you. Because God can't help you until you come. Oh God, I feel something up in here. You see, salvation is simple. It is free, but it's not cheap. I wish I could help somebody up in here. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. I say, I say, salvation. The way to get salvation. He said, every man that labor, let them come unto me. All he that labor and are heavy laden. And I, Jesus, will give you rest. If you are going to get rest, you have to come. Feel like preaching up in here. Good God Almighty. I don't know if you come to, to, to sit and spectate, but we come with a radical praise. My God, we're not spending a whole lot of time here. But if you came to praise Him, open up your mouth and praise Him. Somebody shall glory. I don't know why Christians come to church and save your voice. to save your voice uh, that you don't want to praise God uh, I'd rather praise God until I'm hoarse uh, than give argument to the enemy uh, are you hearing me up in here uh, somebody would love to praise him uh, jump to your feet uh, and shout yes we come here to take it I said we come here to take it holy kashama I want to go by the cargo some people get the Holy Ghost tonight. Anybody in this house want the Holy Ghost? So just let me see your hands. All of you that want the Holy Ghost, come here. To Thank you, Jesus. I am Bishop. I have checked the book. And when I look from Genesis and see everything that is happening, through the book and I come to Revelation, I realize that there's only one winner. The church win and the devil lose. Some of you didn't get that. I have checked the book and at the end of the book, the church is the winner. Do I have any church people up in here that know that you are the winner? Some of you are very slow. My God Almighty, if you know that you're a winner, open up your mouth and shout, yes! One of the problems that we have is we keep slumber, we keep focusing on the unjust. And the unjust keep on messing up our focus. Every time something happens in the body of Christ with a preacher, an international preacher, child of God in the house, people lose focus. Are you hearing me up in here? Every time some leader do something that's not right, most church people come up and say, oh my God, I didn't know that prophet would do that. 
and they wish for us. And God has been teaching me. He said, son, we need to change our focus from men. Change our focus from women. Change our focus from church. And start look at Jesus. So you can't say anything. Good God Almighty. Because your focus is on men. Things bad. It's all over the internet. It's every place. Do you realize that people are quickly to receive bad news? Some of you don't want to say anything because some of you in here, you just want to hear something bad about the preacher. You will kill him left, right, and center. You have no mercy. Good God Almighty. But if you start to look at yourself, Turn the searchlight in you, then you will realize that every man is a failure. I wish I had some help up with you. Some of you don't want to accept that. Every single man are failures. All of flesh will fail you. It's all because of mercy and grace. Somebody show grace. Somebody show grace. Open up your mouth as a grace. Open up your mouth as a grace. Open up your mouth as a grace. It's the grace of God that has appeared unto me, teaching me to deny ungodliness. If it wasn't grace, I would be messed up. My God Almighty, whatever preaching to anybody up in here, I know some of you are holy, but you can't kind of holy without grace. Good God Almighty, I know some of you are righteous, but you can't righteous without grace. The grace of God takes me. And I didn't know anything to get grace. All I did was to show up. Oh God Almighty, if you need grace, all you need to know, here I am Jesus. Good God, my Savior, you can be delivered, you can be set free, if you just show up. But some of you show up to watch people. A strange stuff, and I want to share it with you. It might not be theologically proper, but as I was reading, and God started to show me, "Say, son, if they are just, he's going to be unjust still." So I don't care how your church nice. I don't care what kind of quality people they are. They are unjust. I wish I had some help up in here. But God Almighty, I come to tell you, take your eye off of unjust. Look at Jesus and look to the head of God. Somebody better help. But for all of this, you have to help me now. I can't talk shy. Somebody better help me. I said, look at Jesus and look to the head. Uh, to 
for whatever I need. I need the unjust. Because if there was no unjust, you don't need no message. You wouldn't need a preacher. You wouldn't need a church. You only righteous people. You need to change your perspective. I say, if it had not been, I feel like preaching. That's why we have praise. Not because we're so holy, holy. But we see what God has done for us. We have to pray the same. We have to jump and shout. We have to shout hallelujah. Anybody over here know that God wash you. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Scribes. Dear dress. Keep the use to wear hat. Everything they do, they do it in extreme. When Jesus meet them, he called them white wash sepulchre. Full of dead man born. I don't want to mess with them any day. Because the next thing you're here, the prophet called the dead man born. And I say so, if you have all of that, and you don't have a prayers, you're full of a dead old God Almighty. I wish I could preach on the people, and can't go shower, you know what I shower, somebody so nice, but I don't know what I But he said in, in verse 12, he said, Behold, because the filthy not stopping in front of him, still coming. He doesn't care what we do in church. Jesus still coming. Whether you want to be righteous or you want to be holy, stop letting the people that are not living right affect your right living. Somebody don't want to receive that. So now let me continue. To the little part that the Holy Ghost showed me when I read verse 13. He said, Bishop, I am Alpha. And the Holy Ghost said to me, I am the A and D between Alpha and Omega. Look in your Bible. Let's stop looking at me. He says, I am Alpha. The Spirit of God said to me, Son, you are the A and D. That's between Alpha and Omega. Yes. Yes. Let me do that again. And I'm about to give you the definition that God gave me. The A and D means for me, anointed and delivered. So when you don't get it,
I know this is if anybody abuse you. You could be a real victim. As long as you're in here, so Alpha take read, get read your first. And as long as you're in here, so Alpha is going to take me. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Fasting came up. Yes. 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 When the gunman stick me up, yeah. be spin roll with my Bible. Yeah. And stick him up. Yeah. Because we know who is with me. My God, I wish the church would catch this. Stay down with your leg. But you have a way upon me. If you don't pick you up. Stay down with it. 